Hi, I'm Karina and welcome to MommyWood.com. It's summer and it's time to hit the beach with the kids. So we're here with Ventura County lifeguard Derek Dohler who's going to give us a crash course on beach safety. Hi Derek, welcome to MommyWood.com. Thank you for being here with us today. Sure Karina, great to be here. Derek, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Derek Dohler. I'm a senior lifeguard here at Ventura County Lifeguards and uh, this is my eighth summer uh, lifeguarding. Been up and down California, hit a lot of beaches and uh, seen a lot of Seen a lot of sand out here, have a lot of fun. Now there are definitely some things that uh, we should look out for as parents when we bring our kids to the beach, right? Correct, yeah. What, are, what would you say is the number one thing that, that parents have to be aware of? Number one thing for parents, uh, not only parents but everyone, is the, our water conditions with our rip currents. That's what we, the majority of our job is, keeping people in, are away from the rip currents, and, and if they do get in trouble, we're helping them out and educating the public on how they can get out of situations like that. So can you explain to us what a rip current is? Sure, a rip current, basically, you know, all the waves come in, the water has to go back out, so it forms a channel, um, like a river that's heading back out to sea, and it'll, it'll come in with the current, it'll hit a hole and go back out, and people get caught in those rips, and uh, it'll get sucked out once they take their feet off the bottom, so. Now, how, how do you identify? Is it, is it pretty um, obvious when there's a rip? Yeah, well, a lot of the, you know, normal beachgoers won't recognize them, especially when they're in them. They won't understand why they're getting pulled out. But we as lifeguards, we can identify them. They're, um, you can see there's uh, more ripply, choppier water, maybe brown, murky. It kind of looks like water's rushing out to sea. You'll generally see them um, closer to jetties or um, areas where the bottom isn't as uh, shallow, maybe a little bit deeper, kind of offset. Any particular time of day or season that you see more rip currents than others? Well, the more surf we're going to get, the bigger the waves, uh, the heavier the rips are going to be and the harder they are going to pull. So uh, winter time, when we're not out here, a lot of times uh, the, the majority of the rips are heavier, pulling a lot harder. But out here in the summer, we do get some, some good ones and people do get in trouble, so we help them out. And so what, if somebody gets caught in a rip current, what should they know, what should they do? Basically, the first thing you should do if you get caught in a rip current is to not panic, okay? You don't want to fight against it. You want to almost let it have its way with you. It'll take you out to a certain point and where it'll stop. At this point, you want to swim parallel or paddle parallel to the shore, and you can get out of it and then come in. Rip currents are only so wide, so once you can get out from the clear, then you can make your way back in. But the number one thing is to not panic. Because if you panic, then you stand the chance you to You panic, you start struggling. Some people will ditch their boards or they'll, start, they'll get tired trying to swim in against the current. And uh, like you said, yeah, there's a possible, you know, struggling, drowning, yeah. And what's the best way to alert a lifeguard that you're in trouble? Uh, the best way, well, you know, as lifeguards, we're out here and we have a pretty good eye on everything is out, what's going on. So um, putting a hand up and, and calling for help is almost a last resort. We'll try to keep you out of a situation before it even happens. but. Um, um, that's the last resort, you know, but the, the best thing to do is preventative. Go talk to the lifeguard, find out the, the conditions, look, tell them, have them identify the rip currents to you so you know where not to go. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And um, you said that you're not here in the winter, so people should, should know that it's not very safe to swim when they're... Yeah, you know, in the summer, 